Look, if you're gonna be a fan of someone, be a fan. But when you start stalking somebody, then I start to question your sanity a little bit. So, I wanted to make this video because I feel like it's worth making. It's not necessarily because of the artist that we're going to mention here is being stalked. It's just more of kind of like, hey, don't be like this guy here, this this creepy, creepy man that I'm about to talk about. So, you know, I mean, I always mention Poppy has this big following. Some would say it's almost cult-like, although that's like the running joke I think that goes around. For the most part, it's a pretty normal fan base. I would know I'm a part of it, and it's a pretty normal fan base. You, you just get people who enjoy the stuff that she does, whether it's music or making a comic book or, or some sort of YouTube, but you know, just people will support her and that's cool, that's fine, that's what a fan base should do, support the artists they love. But never should they get in on their personal business and go out of their way to stalk this person constantly and basically pose a threat. And that's what this guy did. His name is Carlos Silva. Usually I don't name names, but a creep like this has to be outed or else this might never stop. Apparently he's been doing this since March of this year, stalking Poppy, but it's gotten to a point where now he's starting to follow her in person, which could be a bit weird, and I don't know if Poppy's like dealing with this behind the scenes, but I sure hope she knows about it. Someone's had to point it out to her at this point in time. It's it's definitely, uh, definitely a weird situation. I mean, some of his tweets, he says here, more from last night, July 2nd, 2021, which was yesterday. Going to Ellis Island, I wish I could say, me, cons me constantly looking for you makes me appear suspicious and creepy. I had to wait for you to come to me whenever. Well, I tried two different days, no hard feelings, seriously, at Poppy. So apparently he's following her to Ellis Island, at least that's what I got. Like, he knew she was going there, and he's like, oh my god, I gotta go there. And then there's other tweets where he says, if you care, I'm here now, look around when you get here, Poppy and all this stuff about, like, be there between, like, 9.20 and 10.30 or, like, 11.30 p.m., and he's talking about gambling with her. But then he says stuff like this, I want to die. Everyone thought I had a bomb, and you screamed, Carlos, are you there? But I said, yes, I'm here. But I wasn't sure if you were true or it was a prank at Poppy. My phone died after the final picture, and that was 25 till 1 p.m. I didn't keep track, but left probably around around 1.40 p.m. Is this guy getting delusional now? Is he hearing Poppy's voice in his head? Because that what it seems to be here. Like, why would Poppy know your name if she's never met you? She might know who you are because someone may have been like, hey, I think this dude's stalking you, but, you know. Um, and then I think the most creepiest one, or at least the two most creepiest ones, he sends a picture of himself and says, remember me, Poppy? And then right below it he has, Poppy, P.S. won't be bringing the gifts for you this time, gonna walk around light. Last time I had a backpack with two gift boxes packed with an assortment of goodies and loving gifts for you. I couldn't give or express to you. I'm sorry, sweetie, was antagonized to the casino and back home. This guy, he's he's doing this thing where like he, he is stalking her and then when something bad happens he's like tossing the blame on her like it's somehow her fault even though he's the creep in the situation and definitely in the wrong. Like I said, support artists that you love. No one's saying that you can't, but when you start doing this stuff it just gets, it becomes illegal at this point. That's what he's doing. This is illegal. You are, you know, you're, you're basically harassing her as well, and that's just not okay. I really, really hope that this guy gets, you know, banned, not only banned off of Twitter, but he needs to be arrested, because, I mean, the proof is in the pudding here. He's dug his hole deep and is basically in the shitter if he does get caught, because this has been going on constantly, and like I said, the first tweet I read said he was doing this on July 2nd of 2021, so just yesterday, and it's just like, why, man? 
why? Like, I'm a fan of Poppy too, but I'm not going out of my way to find out where she is, when she'll be there, what she's doing, where she lives. Like, God forbid he's doing that now, but wait till he finds her address, because at some point in time, stalkers will do that. They will find the address, and they will stand outside their home until they come out, and those gifts that you want to give her, even if you mean well and they are actual gifts, you can't just follow, like, like, find out if she has a P.O. box or something, or DM her saying, hey, how can I send these to you? I really want to give these to you. Like, that would be the more logical way about going and doing things, because, you know, you doing that and you following this woman, of course, the security officers at the casino, you with a suspicious backpack with two suspicious packages in it, are going to think it's some sort of explosive device. Like, no shit. Like, Jesus Christ. But, yeah, uh, I don't think those are gifts. I think those are deadly weapons. But I could be wrong again. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just because I feel like stalkers are insane and they will go through anything to... You know, be like, if if I can't have you, then nobody can type thing. I don't know if it's because he's, like, in love with her or anything. But there's definitely a obsession here and a really, really bad obsession uh, <laughs> that, that needs to be handled immediately. So, yeah, I just hope Carlos Silva stops, which most likely isn't going to happen, or gets arrested. Like, seriously report this Twitter. I don't do this often, but you need to report this Twitter so he can be off the platform, so he can be off of all social media platforms, because this, this is creepy, this is uncalled for, and we don't need someone on the platform like this. And if you see somebody else doing something like this, not just to Poppy, but obviously to, like, other artists, other people, call them out for it, and report their accounts. That's the best thing you can do, and maybe if you're in that area, like, if you live near this person and whatnot, then contact your authorities so that way something can get done about it and basically send them the stuff that you've been seeing, the screenshots, to show proof. That way they can go do it immediately before anything gets bad. But sorry for the extra video here. I know I don't usually post on Saturdays, but I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to basically just kind of, you know, tell you that this isn't okay. When you get to this point, where you're so obsessed that you have to find out everything that somebody's doing, it's, um, you need help. You, you are mentally not there, and you need help, so, yeah. That's it for me. Stay safe out there, don't stalk people, and until then, I guess, uh, have a happy 4th of July, and I will catch you all in the next one.